Hey everyone, welcome to Donkey Kong Restore Part 2, Two Donkey Kongs. Here we go. Uh, today we're going to clean out the inside of the cabinets. They're filthy, they're gross. Uh, we're going to do our best to make them look better. We're going to work on the control panels a little bit and do some other kind of random things. So I appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And here we go. I have the back off of one of the Donkey Kongs. I'm going to get the power supply... Uh, pulled out and we're gonna clean up the bottom of the cabinet um, Just gonna do a, a good cleaning of all this in here make sure everything is straight and organized and get all the the grossness out of here um, So we're gonna be working on that right now and then on the other Donkey Kong um, I need to do a couple things um, It's missing a few of the sounds so um, we're going to have to pull out the board and do a little work on some of the chips. Um, but yeah, we're going to be working on that right now. And I will be back and uh, show you some, some updates uh, along the way. Here we go, guys. Got the inside of the uh, cabinet all cleaned up. Pulled the boards out as well. Got them cleaned up. They were pretty disgusting. That whole area was... Um, we're going to worry about the monitor. You can see it's filthy too, but we're going to worry about it later. Um, take a quick look at the power supply here. Got it all cleaned up as well. I'm looking good. Got all the parts pulled off and got all the dust underneath and got it looking nice and clean again. Uh, so, okay, on to the next one now. All right, guys, here's Donkey Kong number two, and you can see this one's looking quite a bit filthier. A uh, bunch of disgusting stuff in there, cobwebs. Uh, got the manual back there though, that's cool, but same deal. We're gonna get this one all cleaned up and looking nice. Um, right now I'm gonna work on getting the power supply pulled out and I will be back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, started to get this cleaned out. Um, need to get the board pulled out too. Um, like I said, some of the sounds on this one are missing and intermittent. Um, so I got to check out some stuff on the board and find out what's going on with that. Uh, when I was cleaning this out, I did find a few things. One of the supports broke off here, which I'll show you in a second. Some fuses, a quarter, a nut, and a piece of the door lock that somebody had drilled off at some point in time. Um, okay. So I noticed this, and you can see there at some point the original staples uh, came out, uh, rotted out, whatever it was, and somebody screwed, put a screw in there to sink it in. Um, that support I showed you broke off down there, and that's what that screw was sunk into. Um, so I'm going to get that fixed up, um, get that nice and secure again uh, still got a little more cleaning to do but uh, starting to look a whole heck of a lot better found tons of mouse poop and all sorts of other crazy things but uh, starting to come along starting to look good um, all right well i will be back to show you guys more here in a little bit Whew, what a day guys um, got a lot done today got this cleaned up Still got some loose pieces in there. I got to reattach everything. I'll show you the uh, power supply here in a minute. Um, got all the staples out of there. It wasn't allowing it to shut properly. Um, I noticed though the wood's bowing out at the bottom in there and it's not allowing this to shut flush. So I'm going to have to mess with that tomorrow. Uh, get that piece glued back on few more cleaning items in here got some of the cables washed they were pretty grody um, with this one here got it all hooked back up everything's working so we're good there I'm gonna move on to the monitor next uh, well after I get the control panel reassembled and stuff but we'll get the uh, the monitor stuff there cleaned up and uh, we're gonna give this one a cap kit and it has a slight hum, so we're going to cap the audio uh, board as well. Um, let's show you the power supply on this one. Um, 
All right, guys, same deal on this one. Got a lot of the parts pulled off and cleaned up. It was pretty filthy. Um, got that cover uh, cleaned up there pretty nice. Um, cleaned up what I could. Removed all the pieces. Vacuumed up all the dirt and dust and grime. And we'll get this one put back in tomorrow. Um, I did pull the board out of this particular Donkey Kong 2 because I got to mess with the... Uh, uh, not all the sounds are working right, so I got to pull one of the chips, um, clean it, put it back in, and see if that fixes the problem. But we'll work on that, I don't know, tomorrow or the next day as we get time. But um, that's where we're at for now. Uh, next thing we're going to do is get the, I got the stuff from Mike's Arcade uh, coming here. Uh, supposed to show up Tuesday. Uh, get the control panels all reassembled. Uh, a couple of the wire harnesses I pulled out and washed. The, those two were particularly filthy. Um, but we're going to get these uh, control panels hooked back up and do a few maintenance items. And then we will move on to the monitor cap kits and the audio amps. Um, the one on the right has a particularly loud hum that I want to fix. All right, guys. We got the power supply back in. Everything's cleaned up. Got this bottom part reattached there. Um, still got to work on the board today. Um, got to pull one of the sound chips and then uh, see if we can clean that and get it reinstalled, reseated, and see if that fixes some of the sound issues. Um, it's missing some of the sound. So, well, it was intermittent. It was weird. When I, when I bought it, the guy said it was missing sounds. When I first started playing it, it was missing sounds. Um, but then before I started taking it apart... Uh, everything was working. So we're going to clean the chip, put it back in, see if it fixes it permanently. And if it does not, uh, I bought, I did buy a new chip, but we won't use that unless we have to. So got the bezel pulled off this one. You can see there's a little bit of Donkey Kong burn in there. This one was filthy. I, I'm excited to plug it back in and see what it looks like because this one actually had a really good picture and I mean, I was wiping black filth off the screen and off the back of the bezel. So if it looked that good with all that filth in there, I'm very curious to see what it looks like uh, now. Um, it's kind of an overview from the front side here. Now let's look at this other one. Much lighter burn. There's still a little there, but not much. Um, got it all cleaned up as well this one when i was wiping it down it wasn't too bad um i have the bezel pulled right now but i did get the new lower bezel piece uh, for this one um, and for this one here i had to oh my gosh that it, it was stuck on there somebody had you know because they kind of fit loosely and somebody had used like some double stick kind of tape in there and it had like essentially welded itself to the bezel, but some WD-40 and some uh, taking my time and gently prying at it, I was able to get it off. Uh, bezel was on backwards, so I wanted to, to get it take off, taken off, cleaned up, and get it uh, put in the proper way. So what I'm going to be working on now, I'm working on getting the joist, uh, excuse me, the control panels back together. Um, got all my parts in from Mike's Arcade. Um, got everything cleaned up like I wanted to. Um, I did have to get an extra... Um, bought a joystick from somebody. It's a rusted piece of garbage. It'll clean up nice when I take the time. I started to clean up the, the stick just because. Um, but mainly just wanted the ball off of it. Which I got over here. Because the ball I had, let's see if you can see it here. There you go. It's got a crack in it. Doesn't want to focus in too good, but there we go. Um, so I got the replacement ball and got it all polished up and everything yesterday. Um, and then also I was able to salvage uh, the brown wire off of uh, that joystick that I bought. Um can actually use that both of the brown wires this little piece here see if it focuses come on um 
You can order something similar from Mike's Arcade, but it doesn't fit. It doesn't have that little tab, so it won't fit into the original connector. It fits into his connectors. And I wanted to try to salvage as much of the original wire harnesses as possible. So rather than cut them all and make new, um, make new ends on all of them and use his connector, I was able to salvage this brown wire for one of the control panels. Um, and we'll get that one wired up. Um, okay, well, I will be back. I'm going to start working on putting this control panel together. And we'll take a look at it before we install it. And we'll put it in and, and see what the game looks like. All right, guys. Um, got one control panel put back together. New overlay from Mike's Arcade. Um, got the new instruction card there from there as well. Uh, new dust covers, got this joystick, uh, it was beat up, but got it all polished up and looking good from a Clove member, um, new Mike's Arcade buttons there, and salvaged some of the bolts uh, from the other control panel, some of the control panel overlay bolts uh, to complete this one, and then I ordered a new set for that one over there. Um, well, we got this in. I still got the bezel off, but let's fire it up here really quick and see what it looks like. Okay, guys, I am trying to play here with the camera um, pointed directly in front of me at the screen, uh, but we're just going to test things out really quick here, see how it works. Uh, everything seems to be working okay. Uh, I think the switches probably need to be replaced. They're a little sloppy. But, oops, anyways. All right, guys, we tested it out. All is working. Um, we will be back to continue on. One control panel done for tonight. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, I appreciate you guys, and uh, have a good night.